So boingboing.com or .net, pardon me, has been around since Lord knows when and their specialization is sort of just weird stuff on the internet and I'm sure that you've come across links or funny pictures or strange videos like a man putting 3,000 toothpicks in his beard uh, at one point or another at your time on the internet. So, you know, Boing Boing doesn't have a particular focus in terms of, here they are talking about uh, a man putting 3,000 toothpicks in his beard, and a few posts later, they're talking about putting, um, uh, they're talking about the, the Japanese tsunami and the nuclear threat that may result from that. So, you know, they do absolutely, and here's uh, something in Libya. So these are fairly current events at the time. So they do tie in to current events that are going on, but you won't find them just giving a straight up news report on those things. They try to maintain their own individual focus, which in this case, like we said, is just sort of weird stuff, like a ring made out of little styrofoam uh, bubbles, right? So... I'm not suggesting that you start a boing boing type of site, but I wanted to show you how um, a site like this can be so successful. So taking a look at their stats on Alexa, uh, in the United States, they're ranked 882. Uh, throughout the world, they're ranked 1,723. That is uh, an outstanding traffic rank in the United States. They're the 800th most popular site on the internet. Uh, that's pretty impressive, right? Now, they do accept advertising, as you can see here. You can get a look at their demographics, but, you know, just to take a look at the kind of prices that we're talking about, to run a uh, leaderboard ad above the fold, you know, like a banner, is about $2,000 for a week. So, uh, you know, they're making money here, guys, even though it's just a site about weird stuff. They've got a ton and ton of traffic, and they're monetizing their traffic in terms of selling advertising to interested folks. And your monetization method will most likely be different. And they also have a shop uh, where they sell, you know, boing boing branded type of items and things like that. But, you know, your monetization method, method will most likely be different. But the point here is just that these curated type of sites, nobody at, at this site creates an epic article about, you know, uh, whatever, whatever topic it is about weird stuff. You know, they have to go out and they have to find the weird stuff and then they put it on the site with their witty criticisms or or whatever attached to it but uh, curated sites can be standalone sites even and what we're going to be talking about in this course is much much more than curated only sites we're going to talk a lot about uh, creating your own content as well but I want you to know that the curation model is alive and well and here is a fantastic example of that in boing boing so having just covered one of the most well-known sites on the internet uh, in terms of a curation model, I thought that I'd also show you a lesser known and newer site from a not professional internet marketer. So this site is uh, chelseawares.blogspot.com. This is actually by my cousin. Uh, and interestingly enough, she has never asked me for internet marketing advice. <laughs> so this is this is all her creation and she's doing a fantastic job uh, and and what I wanted to point out was some of the ways that she's using curation so she also does a few posts here and there that are her own making her own content but a lot of what she does is curation so uh, I'm skipping the one that's her content and here's a great post about a jacket fine boyfriend edition and she just puts up a picture of the of the jacket that she's found that she thinks is really, really cool and leaves, what, two and a half sentences of her own description, links back to the jacket. Boom. There's a post. Here's another one. She found these great shoes. She's got two and a half, three sentences describing the, the shoes and a link to them. So were for the people who appreciate you know boing boing sense of humor or for the pe people who appreciate chelsea's fashion sense they have found a great site on which the things that they like or the people with whom they share a, a similar sense of, of fashion or humor but where they can meet and have these people curate for them so let's take another look this is one of her individual or one of her personally created posts here uh, another curated post where she got an idea for a decor uh, item from another site. 
and it says I love this and then a link it doesn't have to be the most difficult long um, you know drawn out process to curate content but you do have to have a voice and if you look through Boing Boing or if you look through Chelsea's site and again this is a brand new site for her um, and I don't know that she's ever even had another site I, I have no idea but it struck me because she has a real sense of, of who she is and what she is publishing about and the purpose of her site. So uh, you see that throughout. Same thing with Boing Boing. You, they have a very strong sense of purpose and what kind of stuff they will cover and what kind of stuff they won't cover. And then they curate from all of the things out there. I mean, there's tons of decor ideas in the world, right? that Chelsea could have published and yet she chose this one because it's it's a match for her personality and for her site and for you and your sites that's what you need to be looking for are things that dovetail directly into the message that you're trying to get to your site visitors the feel the look the opinion the editorial mood of your site so keep that in mind and have a look through because I think that Chelsea's doing a really great job here of giving her site a, a voice and I think that for a a more uh you know famous example you can look at boing boing but you know i mean a lot of times we take examples like that in internet marketing or or, or the drudge report or the huffington post or, or whomever it might be that's using a, a curation model and we look at them and oh well i could never be those guys and that's in particular why i wanted to show you this site because this is somebody who is new to the industry and yet she still has a great voice and she's still going out there and finding content to curate and put on her site and uh, and and she's she's doing a great job of it. So this is obviously something that you can do too. And you don't have to be the boing boing. You can be Chelsea. So those are a couple of great examples of curation that I wanted to show you. And we'll talk soon in the next video.